How many of you have one skill? Singing, dance, drawing, raise your hands. How many of you have two or more skills? Raise your hands. Great. As a person, apart from our professional academics, there are many ideas, thoughts and goals rolling in our mind. It's just like a normal Rubik's Cube. For time being, many of us accomplish one success in your life and forget other ideas. This way of mind resembles solving one side of the Rubik and leave it. How many of you try to solve all the sides of the Rubik's? Here is brief introduction of mine. Who is one among few trying to solve all the sides of the Rubik's Cube? I realized it's impossible to solve the puzzle one color at a time. I changed my strategies little with a little hard work and smart work. Now, I'm in a halfway now solving multiple colors at a time. Here are the things about Rubik's Cube of my life in brief. I was born and brought up in a town called Dharmavaram, Andhra Pradesh, which is famous for handloom silk saris. The days I still remember after finishing my school, I used to sit in my father's shop, stocked with full handloom silk saris of vibrant colors. I was walk, observing the silk saris and the designs and colors and started developing interest towards arts. I, rose to my, I reached out to my drawing teacher called Shilpa Sir in my hometown and learned for many skills, developed affinity towards drawings, drew many paintings and gave an exhibitions in various parts of the country and also made designs on graphs, which is source for making silk sari and for my pocket money. After a few years down the line of my journey in paintings, there was a situation in our lives, in my life, which with a lot of hardship at home. It, 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 had, it had impacted all the facets of our life. In the midst of dire situation, there was a dance teacher in my hometown called Babu Balaji sir, who came forward and told, I cannot help you financially. Rather, I can teach my skill for free of cost. That's when I have become a classical dancer. For over, for over 20 years, I gained proficiency in Bharatanatyam, Kuchipudi, Yakshagana, and folk dance forms. It did let me face the stage across the country and various cities. As you can see on screen, it's Yakshagana, which is a classical dance form of state of Karnataka. It takes three hours to get into 20 kgs costume for three minute dance performance. After this one, it also helped me to face the crowd overcome nervousness on the stage. Let's go to the next color. In my down times, I was trying to test my patience on sensible things called chalks and, star, chalks and sound. So as you can see on screen, it takes a lot of effort and patience to craft the designs and the models out of chalk pieces. It also symbol of how fragile the world is and as your heart. You should be very careful with, your, with everything. Even I started developing an art form like making models from wedding invitation cards lying in the corner of the house. From then, I started developing interest or passion towards architecture. I wanted to be an architect, I decided. In many parts of the country, if you want to fulfill your passion, you must complete engineering. That's a fact. Whereas in my case, I wanted to be an architect, which is a subject branch of engineering, but my parents forced me or advised me to enroll for computer science engineering. I was depressed. I, was, I lost the hope. Even when the class C language or Java class was going on, I was drawing building models and master plans on the back of the book. I decided I have to continue my passion, pursue architecture. That's when I started collecting pen refills from my classmates and the friends with no purpose to it. The, all, all the, the dream I had was collect maximum pen refills, create world record. That's it. After that, I decided to transform them. And in the year 2007, the miniature of Eiffel Tower was evolved out of 400 pen refills. It, create, it gave me motivation that I can build many more monuments. Being a creator of this art form, I don't have any guidance or support from anyone. How to continue this art form? It's a branch of engineering by it in itself because making something out of pen refills is not an easy thing. And I ran out of pen refills. 
I reached I reached out to my college HOD, Prakash Babu sir. Sir, I want to set up refill collection boxes in schools and colleges. He was okay and encouraged still. And then what happened? There was a lot of re re pen user pen refill collection boxes set up across the country and abroad. In the last 17 years, over 20,000 pen refills are collected across the globe to make monuments from, from various countries. There is no stopping now. After that, the, wor the world of miniature art evolved. It started in the last 17 years, over 11,000 pen refills were reused to make 12 monuments. Eiffel Tower, Charmina, Big Bang Clock, Leaning Tower of Pisa, Taj Mahal, Gateway of India, Sydney Harbour Bridge, Seattle Space Needle, St. Philomena Church, Amritsar Golden Temple, Jaipur Hava Mahal, and the most recent and the 12th one, which I completed in November 2023, it's Hampi Chariot Restoration. Hampi Chariot Restoration is one of, one of, one of the unique art form or the model I made so far, the most satisfying one, personally. It's the first ever restoration project in the world which replicates the original design of the Hampi Chariot with having the dome and the intricate designs on top of it. Some of these monuments are on display right now in Redford, New Delhi, as part of India Art, Architecture and Design Binale 2023. The purpose of this Binale is to show the story of India, Indian art, architecture to the world. Each monument takes six months to two years or three years to complete the construction because you need to undergo a lot of analysis, research and design, understand the history of the monument and make it. You're not, you should, you're not supposed to disturb the architecture, the originality of the design. So one of these monuments, which is St. Philomena Church, Mysore, which, is on, which was on display at Leonardo da Vinci Museum at Milan, Italy. Had I been just a software engineer, I would not have been here on this stage and sharing my story. Now, Paintings, classical dance, sculpting, environment awareness, miniature art. If you solve five of the size of the Rubik, the sixth color will, will be resolved naturally. Do you think you still leave the sixth color for the luck? No, never. Whenever you work on something on your passion or interest, you also get the fame, the world pay attention towards you. But you have to plan yourself, your career, pick and choose your battles, reach out to the right forums where you can share your story to the world and learn from them. During this journey of miniature arts, I did visit a lot of monuments across the country. It made me to unlearn and relearn the history of India as well. Now, with the learnings and motivation from Hampi Chariot, I'm going to recreate all the or restore the original designs of the many monuments across the country. And the dream is to set up a museum of miniatures, which brings alive all the famous monuments around the world and further educate the people on plastic pollution. Now, it's your turn. How many of you want to solve your version of Rubik's Cube? There are many possibilities. There are many ideas within your each individuals. It's about the step, the hard work and little smart work you have to invest in yourself. The inspiration rooted in your mind can be a sign that I'm headed in the right direction. Thank you.